Hospital Codes, the Australian edition. Code Blue, you guessed it, it's cardiac arrest or medical emergency. This is where doctors and nurses rush to the scene to deliver life-saving care. We use the doctor's ABCD approach, danger, response, send for help, airways, breathing, circulation, and defib. But more often than not, we'll call a rapid response. Doesn't sound as cool, but it's just as effective. Code Red, fire. This one is a serious one. Fire doors close, emergency services might be called, and an evacuation may be imminent. For this one, we use the RACE acronym. R is for remove personnel that might be in danger. A is for alarm, raise the alert. C is for confine, shut those fire doors. And E, extinguish, if you're trained to do so. Code Brown. This is where a patient does a big, stinky external emergency. Nearly had you. Examples of a code brown might be earthquake, flood, major airplane crash. So we're expecting a huge amount of trauma patients to come in and the hospital needs to be ready. So maybe instead of thinking of what you felt, think brown for earth or natural disaster. Code orange, evacuation. This could be a number of different scenarios, but basically we have to get as many people out as fast as possible to a safe place for a variety of different reasons. Code yellow, internal emergency. This one is where the facility itself is not functioning. The gas might be down, the water, the electricity, the computers, something's happening and the hospital isn't able to run, which can put people's lives in danger. This could also be caused from an external emergency like a flood that could wipe out some of the infrastructure. Code black, personal threat. Where behavior, whether armed or not from a person, is threatening someone else, their own life or the property. For this code, we have the four R's. Remain calm, retreat if safe, raise the alarm and record the details. And never put yourself at more risk than you need to and get help as soon as possible. Code purple, bomb threat, whether written, verbal or in the form of a suspicious object. This one has a huge list of details to follow, but basically stay calm, listen to the information being communicated to you when safe, call emergency services on triple zero. This one is very finicky though, so following instructions will be the key. So tell me, what are the codes in your country for the hospital? What are the differences? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.